Hi, my name is Pop. I'm making a video tutorial about Unicenter, the point of sale touchscreen cash register program. And in this video, I'm going to be discussing just one small aspect of the program, and that is how to change the printers around. There is uh, a screen which shows you that you can set up as many as three printers here. And I'm going to demonstrate just a little bit of this. Printer 1, I have got presently routed to the screen. Printer 2 to the screen, printer 3 to the screen. You can change this. Now one of these screens, one of these printers, is going to be printed in the kitchen, let us say. And then another one of these is going to be the receipt printer that the customer gets when he pays, either with cash, check, or credit card. Let me go up to sales here, and I'll make a fictitious sale, and we will uh, demonstrate how this is done. Uh, chair one in my restaurant is now going to be buying a burger and that's it. Up here I've got an icon that sends this order to the kitchen and the kitchen has a screen rather than a printer. Of course I could also print it out on paper in the kitchen. This is going to be uh, on my receipt printer but it shows a preliminary receipt before the customer purchase purchases the item and it says on it this is not a receipt and then after the customer uh, has gotten his order and pays we will now hit this one and that produces the bona fide receipt so let me demonstrate this I'm going to tap on this order is sent to kitchen let's look at it real quick down here in printers and that's what the kitchen gets now there's nothing over here in this one nothing over here in this one I've got everything routed to screen printer one okay let me go back to the sales and I want to make a uh, temporary look uh, looking at the uh, thing is the way it's going to appear if and when the customer does buy and I tapped on it I go to printer and this is what it's going to look like but it does not have a receipt number on it and at the bottom it says this might be a receipt I change that around it says this is not a receipt you can eliminate that text or you can write on it this is a receipt or this is a test receipt anything you want the reason that that is on there is so that um, oh, you won't get confused. It doesn't have a receipt number. It does print out. It could be a duplicate receipt. You could write down here, this is a duplicate receipt. You could use this variously. I mean, I don't know why you would want to use this at all because uh, you've got the real receipt and why would you want to uh, print it again? Well, maybe your paper jammed and you want to print a duplicate copy. Uh, also, there is a darker side. You do not want your employees to be giving away free food, giving somebody a receipt as though they had paid. There is another darker side for the owner of the business. He may be approached by a salesman who says, hey, I need to turn in a receipt to get reimbursed by my company. Ah, there's all kinds of reasons. I don't know them all. Let's go back up to sales now, and we're going to uh, this one went, was to the kitchen. This is the preliminary receipt, what it's going to look like. And this is the no kidding receipt and the guy gives you a $50 bill. It computes his change up here and you hit OK. Boom, it's gone. Let's go down here and take a look at it. That's what it looks like. You know it's a real receipt because it says 112. It's got a receipt number and at the bottom it says thank y'all. That's Texas. Texas for use guys. In the northern part of the United States they say use guys. Well I'm now going to show you how you can change some of this in maintenance resources. But I won't be showing all of it because this is a complex issue. Let's go down and look for these things. This is very complicated. Gracious me. Uh, first of all let's go to ticket preview. Here is Ticket Preview, and that's the one where it prints out everything except the receipt number, and at the bottom it says, what does it say? This might be a receipt. This is a duplicate. Is a 
duplicate receipt. This is a duplicate receipt, sorry. I'm ziggle zaggled here. This is a duplicate receipt. It tells me to save it. I save it. Uh, let us go to print in the kitchen and I want to show you that also. It says print on one. Let's send it over to two or three. Three. Tells me to save it. Let's save it. Now let's go back up to sales make a new order. I'm going to on chair two order fries, drink, burger. Send it to the kitchen. It's sent to the kitchen. Now remember what did I do? It's not on one. It's not on two. Shazam! Now it's on three. So that would print to whatever printer you wanted so long as you designated that printer three. It's complicated. Okay, now let's go back up to sales and let us uh, do the preliminary receipt. Let's look at it and see what it says. And if I go to screen one at the bottom, it now says this is a duplicate receipt. And see it does not have a receipt number. And now let's go back up to sales and let us print this and let's hit OK uh, $50 and now we go to printers and at the bottom it gives us the receipt number and that's the whole business and we are done now if I go back to edit sales and if I look for 113 let's see ticket number 113 that's this one and I hit OK can I just print it again alright I think I can now this says on it this is a duplicate receipt and if I if I reprint this thing uh, then I can go down here to printer and that's it 113 it's reprinted my name is pop this is not everything that there is to know about how to print out receipts duplicate receipts and print to the kitchen but it is a little bit and it will be helpful and if you goof with it some more you'll get good at it. My name is Pop and I thank you very very much.